particular right sign hint Man United can sign you Michael Carrick in more ways than one. Michael Carrick played a key role in Manchester United's success under Sir Alex Ferguson. When Cristiano Ronaldo arrived back at Manchester United this summer after 12 years away, the boss and excitement that follows the Portuguese superstar filled the minds of the majority of the club's fans. But there was a small section of supporters who knew that without a dedicated defensive midfielder and a world class one at that, they may struggle to dethrone Manchester City. Some seven matches into the Premier League season, that issue looks like it may come back to how United as they attempt to end their eight years wait for a domestic triumph. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has had his eye on Declan Rice for some time now, and for good reason. The West Ham midfielder is an ex exemplary professional and never stops working in the engine room for David Moyes side. The 22 year old is much more than simply a holding midfielder or a ball winner. He can carry the ball expertly through midfield area and spray passes from left to right. He is to West Ham what Giorgino is to Chelsea, what Rory and Fernandino do for Man City. What Fabinho does so effectively for Liverpool, they control the ball, dictate the play and provide a calm presence in the Kang State midfield areas. Structure is not short of midfield option, but it could be argued the Norwegian lacks that imposing figure in the center of the park. The one player who fits that description, Nemanja Matic, has declined in the latter stage of his career at 33 years of age. Scott McTominay is more effective going from box to box, while there are tops over Fred's ability to consistently dominate the midfield areas. Bobuba has played in as a pivot on occasion, but the Frenchman does not have the defensive acumen to patrol those midfield areas and protect the players behind him. But Rice could be solution going forward for United. The England international has sound as he has strong mental attributes, leading his more senior teammates as captain at the London Stadium despite his age. While he does not think to hug the limelight like his colleagues, Mikel Antonio and Said Ben Rahma, Rice will go under the radar. But it does not mean he isn't getting the dates by his managers, but of whom speak in glowing terms about the player at their disposal. England boss Kurt Sudgett recently revealed he has regular chats with the Hammer Star about how he can improve his game, such as his eagerness to learn. He's a real spawn for all tactical information and observation on his game, and he's desperate to be the best he can possibly be, Sudgate said. Even though he is a young player, he has got tremendous leadership qualities. He is captaining his club at an incredibly young age, so you can see all the signs of what might be possible. There are the experience he has been through now, but also he is getting older and more mature and broader with his outlook on everything. And because of his mentality, he is going to improve even more. There are comparison to be drawn with how Sir Alec Ferguson spotted his sights need for past master, a deep line midfielder after Roy Keane left in 2005. John Osea and Darren Fletcher fell it in while Ferguson scored the market for his successor and eventually stomped up £18 million to sign Michael Carrick from Tottenham. At the time, signing Carrick felt like an anticlimax, especially when United had been linked with General Gattuso and Marco Senna, two of the best ball winners around. But Ferguson wanted someone to strengthen the soft core of his side and Carrick was viewed as the man to do it. Carrick was not a world-class player at the time of signing but an effective one and a player who had a lot of room left to improve. His pacing was pinpoint, his movement perhaps a little wooden, but the way he read the game allowed him to find space in the clutch at midfield areas. It would turn out to be a signing that helped United cloud back their dominance of English football. 
winning three consecutive Premier League titles between 2007 and 2009, with the 2008 Champions League winners medal thrown in for good measure. It is difficult not to draw comparison to United's current situation under Solskjaer. While Ronaldo, Rafael Varane, and Jadon Sancho satisfy the fans craving for start names, the need for a defensive midfielder was ignored, and United have been left exposed in some match decision. Price may appear to be a hugely expensive option, with his exchange price likely to exceed 100 million pounds as West Ham are real time to allow him to depart. But the signs suggest his rival could be the final piece in a puzzle for Solskjaer, given that the club have spent near to £500 million under Solskjaer with no trophies to solve for it. It may be a price worth paying if it means United can test domestic success again.